Local election headquarters, Rhode Island voters are going to be heading to the full, uh, polls today, deciding who will be on the ballot this November for a number of state, local, and federal races. Julian Lima begins our coverage with the governor's race. She's live in the newsroom. That's right. Well, the wait is over. Primary day is here, and depending on where you live, you could be voting for the next leader of your city or town. But of course, the key race this year that people in every municipality will have a say in is the vote for governor. Now, with three candidates in each primary, Republicans and Democrats have a few options heading into the polls. Incumbent Governor Gina Raimondo is challenged by former Secretary of State Matt Brown and former State Rep Spencer Dickinson. On the Republican ticket, Cranston Mayor Alan Fung, House Minority Leader Patricia Morgan, and businessman Giovanni Ferrosi all vying for the GOP nomination. Our viewers got to know some of the candidates in our televised debates last month, but both Raimondo and Fung chose not to participate. Our political analyst says their decision to sit out may have an impact on voter turnout today, just like the weather. I think the weather this morning could have a slight uh, impact on the turnout of the election. I think it could suppress some of the older voters in Rhode Island if they see a heavy rain coming down at any time in the morning, especially if they're not overly enthusiastic about going out to vote. They were just going to go out to vote to do the civic duty. So it could hold them back a little bit, but I don't think that much. Fingers crossed, not that much. Of course, while we continue our primary day coverage, we can't forget about the most important part of today, and that's you, the voter. My colleague, Alex.